One of the reasons I got into uh, Plato's Closet is that the business is an asset also. And if you run it right, that asset is building every year. So you can use that as part of your retirement. We were both thinking things just hadn't come together like we thought for retirement. Sometimes you have money in a and a annuity and next thing you know you have half as much money in that annuity because some yes. something happens across and so we've all gone through that stuff we all know that stuff because we're just gonna we're just gonna jump out here with a leap of yes. faith and uh, we're gonna go for it and uh, we did we kind of rolled the dice and uh, thank God we did because it worked out I worked in the corporate world and there's nothing I could pass on to my children I, I can work and I can accumulate things and, and finances and, and uh, assets, but I couldn't involve my family in, in the business and, and hand it off to them. And that's what we're in the process of doing with my son. We opened on a Thursday. Kids were in, supposed to be in school, but when I got there at you know, 7 o'clock in the morning or something, there must have been 300 people waiting to get in. We, you know, people were buying stuff, the hangers were stacking up, I opened the trunk of my car, I started throwing them in. Our, our plan is to continue to, to improve. Um, you know, our, we believe very strongly in continuous improvement. We will never settle. Um, we always feel we can get better. We have a Plato's Closet, a Style Encore, and we're getting ready to open a Once Upon um, next month. And the brands just feed off themselves. We have, we have grown with them. Yeah, yeah it, it really is amazing. Uh, to see, you know, not just, you know, not just their growth, our growth, but how we've just kind of grown together. Yep. Uh, we do have growth plans. We are opening one more store in the um, end of the year this year. We will be five stores, three Plato's Closets and two Once Upon a Child's. All very happy, successful stores.